When he's working night shift, I also don't sleep. I'm awake. The first thing is going through my mind, he's not going to make it. Or what's going to happen to us? Or he's going to give it to us? Is he coming home back to us? What's going to happen? Who's going to provide for us? I woke up around about half past 10, 11 ish, and I felt like somebody was assaulting me. My body was paining. They couldn't even touch me. I said, Leave me, just leave me. My head was pounding, somebody was squeezing it. It just got worse and worse and worse. I was constantly tired. I walked 10 meters, I was out of breath. I thought, my word, is this really what's happening to me? This is not me. Our field is evolving and it's evolving quite quick. Medicine changes. I think the pandemic of COVID-19 currently has changed the landscape forever moving forward. We knew that staff would contract the virus. We had a process that we would follow to deal with it. When he did call me, asked him you know, to remain at home and make sure that he isolates away from his family if possible. And then I contacted our chief medical officer, Dr. Robin Holgate, and consulted with her. The next step was uh, Ryan Wills' team's team took over and they, did, they also interviewed him. And thereafter, a decision was made to, for fires to be tested. We went up to Fertgelegen and I got the test done, I came back and I was far worse than I was the Thursday. I spoke to the family and said, look, this is not the end of the world. We knew exactly when I started this job that I will be in contact with TB, malaria, meningitis and now this also. seven days that I've been there, I didn't eat. I didn't have any appetite. I drank water, I took a shower, I walked from the bed to the bathroom, that's it. I was in frequent contact with him to offer emotional support, just to let him know that we're here and we're around if there's anything he needs. And progressively, I got a bit better. And I could walk to the balcony. And then the headache started subsiding, the pains in the body started subsiding. That freaked me out, that, that worked on me. Are they okay? Are they coping? What if they get sick? But lucky to, to the grace of God, nothing happened. They were healthy, none of them got sick. And, and that, and like I said, the support of the vision, it just kept me going. And as I got better, I was quite happy to say, I'm going home on that day. I'm waiting for that day. Yeah, he's a hero, yeah. Even when he's coming to him here and ask for help, and he doesn't hesitate to get up and help the people. So, I like what he's doing, but I'm also scared. There's times that I wanted to, that I told him that you must leave where you are. I don't want you to work anymore. I want you to be at home, but I can see he is looking after these people.